Hey guys, what is up? It's Lazarus here, and today we're going to be discussing the 10 things you need to know about MLB The Show 17 before you buy it. Now these 10 things consist of new features and small little details that you should take note of. Let us know your most anticipated new feature for MLB The Show 17 in the comments below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get right into the list. The first thing on our list is going to be the fact that MLB The Show 17 is no longer on previous gen consoles. This is the first year that MLB the show will not be coming out on the PlayStation 3, and this opens up a lot of new doors for the developers. Being shackled by having to make a PS3 version of the game always comes with a price, and always decreases the quality of the game slightly. So without having to worry about this anymore, San Diego Studios have put all their effort into making MLB The Show 17 as great as it possibly can be for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro. At number 2 on the list, we have the Diamond Dynasty mode being at its absolute peak. San Diego Studios has said that Diamond Dynasty is as good as ever in MLB The Show 17. Back in the show 15, when they really started to innovate it, they said this is what they were shooting for, this is where they wanted to end up. And after three years of hard work, Diamond Dynasty looks like it's going to be better than ever. With hundreds of new players and tons of new missions and content for you to grind, Diamond Dynasty and MLB The Show 17 is looking fantastic. For the first time, Road to the Show is going to have a story-like experience with Pave Your Path, a documentary-style story that follows your career and your path as a player. In Pave Your Path, you get to make decisions that may alter your career a lot down the line. This year, you are in control of the direction your career goes in, whether it's discussing things with your manager, scouts, team officials. It's going to add a whole new layer to the Road to the Show game mode, and this is only the start. As San Diego Studios has said, this is the beginning of a huge change for Road to the Show, and it's only going to get better from here on out. Another thing that shows the big step up in quality in MLB The Show 17 is the much improved character models. Now, as you can see on screen, there's going to be a couple of examples of guys that look a lot better compared to last year in MLB The Show 16, and the difference is absolutely striking. This goes back to the fact that MLB The Show 17 is no longer on previous gen consoles, so San Diego Studios can go all out in throwing all their resources to making the game look as pretty as possible. And what is an MLB game without good looking players? There have been a few tweaks made to franchise mode to make it better and easier to play. One such example is the upgraded player lock option. You can now take over an active player's career and play through a whole season as him or try to finish off his career strong. There's also the new manager game mode where it's essentially a text based style game mode where you get to make decisions and control the game but from a different perspective. And of course, there is options to play the games much quicker as there is a critical situations mode similar to what we saw in Madden 17 last year that lets you play the most important parts of the game. Another much needed update was the announcers. Finally, instead of Steve Lyons and Eric Karros, we are getting two MLB Network announcers, Dan Plesak and Harold Reynolds, and with them comes new dialogue, no more of the same boring stuff we've had for the last decade. With these new announcers, Hopefully, they'll have some good personality to go along with them. With these two new announcers comes a complete overhaul on the presentation. It's now fitted with MLB Network's presentation, similar to the one they use on their actual channel. And it's a huge step up in quality from the bland presentations we've gotten for the last few years as well. For example, the scoreboard that's on the screen, obviously, during the game, it looks a lot nicer and cleaner now, as well as the screen that shows off your lineup and the opposing team's lineup when you're in the game. The little added touch of the MLB Network details seems like a very small feature, but it indeed makes a very, very big difference. Next up, we have the new game mode, Retro Mode, which everyone has heard about and most people are pretty excited for. Now, it's very different to what the rest of the game has, but it's a cool little game mode that's pretty much isolated from the rest of the game. Personally, I'm not expecting it to be the next best thing, but I do think it'll be a very cool addition to the game and add a little bit more variety in there. So when you get bored of playing in your franchise or grinding Diamond Dynasty, you can go over to Retro Mode and have some fun there. Next up we have the new Catching Meter, which makes throwing out base runners a lot easier. Have you ever been in an MLB The Show game and suddenly the other team just starts stealing left and right off of you? Well hopefully with the new Catching Meter, that won't happen and quite as often. You are now going to be in control of your catcher when you have an opportunity to throw out a base runner. And leaving the control in your hands may lead to a few less broken controllers down the line. Finally, at number 10 on our list, we have the new hitting engine and ball physics. The developers kind of describe the hitting in the last few years as your bat hitting a wall, but instead, this year it's completely revamped, so it's more realistic. It's going to be actually like a bat hitting a real ball. The ball is going to take new paths it's never seen, it's going to curve more, 
and it's going to fall in more for more bloop hits. This new hitting engine might completely change the game as we know it. It's an absolutely huge addition that cannot be overlooked. Something like this could possibly change the feel of hitting in MLB The Show. Only time will tell how this new engine fares in MLB The Show 17. Those are the 10 things you absolutely need to know about MLB The Show 17 before you buy it. If you guys liked the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments down below what your most anticipated feature is for MLB The Show 17. Thanks for watching. Peace.